There's nothing better than you know hearing children's pure laughter without sarcasm, without cynicism. It's a pure childish delight. And if a clown can pull that out of a kid, that's the best sound in the world. It's no coincidence that clowning is at the heart of Circus Schmerkes performances. The show's founder, Rob Merman, was a disciple of the great mime Marcel Marceau, and Merman's protege, Troy Wonderly, the current artistic director for the 25-year-old youth circus, is director of clowning for the greatest show on earth, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. The impact of their longtime collaboration is omnipresent in the ring. How Merman and Wonderly established this bond is a story unto itself. Merman's quest for a career began after graduating from high school in North Haven, Connecticut. Mime was my first love and I still enjoy doing that. And I, you know, I had athletic skills already naturally and I developed those. And somehow, why circus? That's a mystery even to myself, except I figured that was the avenue for using my skills and seeing the greater world. This was in the late 60s, mid to late 60s. There, was, there were no circus camps. There were no circuses that a young fellow could think about running off and joining. Circuses were in decline in America. It was right about that time, 1968, I think it was, when Irvin Feld created Clown College, trying to get more clowns, younger clowns, to come into Ringling Brothers. That's when I decided to run off to Europe because I'd heard that the best one ring circuses were over there. I figured I'd go around hitchhike until I bumped into a circus and go apprentice myself to some famous clown and learn the trade. Then I went off and studied mime in Paris with uh, the master Marcel Marceau. And from him I learned the power of silence, the power of connecting with an audience with your eyes, with the power of your movements and gestures and the lyricism of how the body can communicate with an audience non-verbally. And I found that that was a very valuable uh, tool when I became a circus clown. While completing his college degree, Rob began organizing mime troops. It gave me the experience of uh, teaching. Um, teaching what I had been learning in, as far as mime and circus and exploring how to put shows together with non-circus skilled performers. I stayed in for a number of years throughout my 20s working with various European shows, some in circus buildings, some traveling. And that gave me basically the idea of starting my own circus. You know, I, I wanted to bring back to American kids a different style of education, more of the apprentice style. And that was one of the reasons I, I created Circus Mercus. Merman's starting point was Greensboro, Vermont. Everybody said, you know, go to New York, go to Boston, go to some city where there's money, there's people, you know, you could... I turned around and drove up to Vermont. Ended up in a rural town of 600 people in northern Vermont in a rundown 200-year-old farmhouse. My circus friends thought I was nuts. The people in town thought I was nuts. They had no idea. Uh, so I started teaching circus classes, teaching the local farm kids how to walk a wire, how to juggle. You know, we're tossing around fo cords of firewood, you know, to, to juggle. Uh, acrobatics, clowning, and I was showing silent film movies to the old timers in the barn, in the horse barn. And in the early days, kids were, who came to take my circus classes, they were paying me with firewood for the winter 
cans of, you know, canned vegetables to get me through the winter. That was their pay, you know, that was their tuition in the first year. I got some of my circus friends together, uh, ringmaster, clown, trio. I had some professionals, including myself, working with the kids in the ring as colleagues. People expected a little kid's circus, elementary school. What they got was a semi-professional show those first years because we were combining professionals with kids under the big top with lights, original music. We had a three-piece band. Uh, and that was uh, the beginning of Circus Mercus, and that was 25 years ago. And of course, we've grown since then. The career paths of Rob Merman and Troy Wonderly converged in 1995. I was accepted to the Clown College. I was uh, one of 33 students to go to Baraboo, Wisconsin. And on day one, I walk into uh, the um, arena and I'm met by a gentleman who claims to be from Vermont, who seems to have a circus in Vermont, and uh, who can't believe that I grew up in Vermont with all these circus skills and had no idea what this circus circus was. And uh, Rob Merman um, was the founder of Circus Mercus, is the founder of Circus Mercus, and was co-director of Clown College the one year um, that I attended. So it was a, a real fortunate meeting of, uh, of the minds. I was running off to the circus at the same time that Irvin Feld was creating Clown College, and I had no sense at all that 25 years later his son Kenneth Feld would be inviting me to be the, the director of Clown College. That was after our about 10 years after I had already started Circus Smirkus. Troy accepted Rob's invitation to join the youth circus, and the rest is history. And we send a lot of clowns to Ringling, and I've heard from a lot of circus directors that what they like about the Smirkus performers is that number one, they know how to do more than one act. Number two, they come to them immediately knowing the lifestyle of being in the circus. They're, they're always on time, they're polite with other artists, they're helpful, and they can run in and help with rigging or anything else if needed. That they know what being a circus per per performer is all about. I've had two elementary school uh, children that I've worked with in my time uh, that have gone straight up through the ranks. One's in Cirque du Soleil right now and the other's in Ringling Brothers. And it's just such a thrill to watch that progress. Teaching them behavior of how to be an artist if that's what you want to do what it means to live the life of an artist, what it means to be a performer connecting with an audience. Why would I regret uh, having a career in the circus and working with kids and making kids laugh and making adults smile? And What could be better than that? Has it been easy? No. Do I recommend to uh, kids that they run off and join the circus? No. <laughs> they have, that has to come from inside them. And uh, who knows, you know, I've always thought that when I get to be older again, I'll start putting on the red nose, funny makeup, and maybe I'll run off, hitchhike to Europe again, find some show, and ask if I could have a job as a clown. With Circus Schmerkus in Richmond, Rhode Island, I'm Martha Talbert.